Good morning gamers and fart smellers. Today I'll be showing you how to optimize and speed up Discord and also block a little bit of tracking features that Discord built into their software. Now before I start, I just wanna say that this is against Discord's terms of service. Although to be completely honest with you guys, this is probably the safest thing you could do in terms of client modifications. Regardless, if you still wanna continue, go to the first link in the description, go to install and click on stable. Now it's gonna pop up with this run script thing and it's also going to say in Chrome that this file can harm your computer. Just click keep, then open up the batch file. Then it's gonna say Windows protect your PC, click more info and click run anyways. It's really easy to install because it's already done. Now, if you don't believe me, if you click on user settings and scroll down, you will see open SAR and all these numbers. If you click on that, it'll pop up with a config window. Now you can have your focus on performance or battery life if you're on a garbage laptop like, uh, I don't know, my Surface Pro. And uh, you know, you can set that. You can also enable no tracks so it disables Discord's tracking, analytics, all that other stuff. And you can have splash theming, which basically if you have themes, because this does work with better Discord, power cord, all the client modifications, then if you have a theme, it'll match the splash screen to your theme. You can have that enabled or disabled, doesn't matter. Then when there's a couple of experimental features, I would just keep these off if you're a normal user, but feel free to tinker around with them if you want. And once you change the settings, click on restart, and kaboom, there you go. Discord opens up, starting, ring, boom, done. Now, you should notice a lot of fast, like it should be faster to go between tabs. So if I go to a server, command, switching between channels is pretty quick. Like as you can see, it's not that difficult like it, it's 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 pretty quick except this one this one's quite slow don't know why but anyways it basically if you have a low-end computer you should notice quite a bit of a performance increase if you already have a fast gamer computer gamer rig then it might not be as obvious because you can only go so fast right anyways let's say it didn't work out for you or you just don't want to use OpenSR anymore i'm going to show you how to uninstall it so what we need to do is we need to close discord Go to the bottom right in Windows and click on this little arrow thing. It might be in a different location, but what you want to do is you want to right click on Discord and click quit Discord. That'll make it so it's completely off. Then we want to press the Windows key and the R key and it'll pop up with this run window and we want to type in percent, local app data percent, and press OK. Then when you do that, you should see this Discord folder. You want to open that up. Then you will see app, dash, and a whole bunch of numbers. Double click on that. Then double click on resources. Then you should see two files, app.sr and app.sr.backup. What we want to do is we want to click on app.sr, press delete. Then we want to right click on the backup, click rename, and remove the dot backup. So it should be app.asar, press enter, and press yes. Then once it's done, you can close this window and open up Discord again, press enter. And when you do that, just to make sure, go to your user settings and you scroll down and you will notice OpenSR is gone. So that's how to uninstall it. Regardless, sweetheart, I basically did this video in one shot. So uh, I need to take a breath now. And I'm going to do that once I end the video. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a good, have a good sleep.